Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Sea of Thieves News, the first of 2024. We've got information on the upcoming Community Weekend. Drew Stevens is back with an exciting update, and we've got a sneak peek at new additions to the Pirate Emporium. Now that Season 11 is in full swing, it's time to refocus on our favourite part of Sea of Thieves, the community. The Season 11 Community Weekend takes place between the 24th and 26th of February, and there are new rewards to earn as part of the celebration, including the Season 11 Community Weekend flag and the Poor Wave emote. And that's not all. The Picture War makes its glorious return. There's boosts to Gold, XP, Renown and Allegiance, and Pop-Up Plunder is back to reward you with loads of loot throughout the event. We're even running Twitch drops for everyone across the entire weekend, so simply watching your preferred CFE streamer could earn you the Scarlet Sailor Hurdy Gurdy and Hurdy Gurdy Show Off emote, as well as the Eastern Winds Ruby Silken Gloves and Short Jacket. Keep an eye on Sea of Thieves social channels for more information as we get closer to the start of the Season 11 Community Weekend. And we've got new items headed to the Outpost stores. A quick trip to the stylist, and you can wow your crewmates with the new slouchy hairstyle. And to complement the clothing added last month, you can now get your hands and hooks on the Maestro instruments and use them to spread sweet music across the seas. Now, let's catch up with production director Drew Stevens for some exciting updates. Hey everyone, it's good to be back. Season 11 has been live for a couple of weeks, the map table is no longer doing things that it shouldn't, and we're on course for our next update in February. First up, there's a pretty sizeable change coming behind the scenes in February's update. We're going to be migrating Sea of Thieves from the old Xbox development framework over to the latest and greatest called GDK. And along with that, there's some pretty neat stuff coming with it. So first up, Sea of Thieves will now support both DirectX 11 and DX12. Now, while the game will auto-detect, players can switch from DX11 to 12 and back again in their player settings. Players should see a general performance improvement across the board, with PC seeing the biggest wins. Our regular updates on console and on the Windows Store will be much smaller moving forwards, and that store experience is also going to improve, with the ability to auto-update the title, but also on the Xbox app for players to choose where they want to install Sea of Thieves. The kicker is that February's update is going to be much larger than usual as we make the change, but then we'll be back to those smaller updates onwards from then. An update like this brings us in line with the latest compatibility features and improvements on the Xbox platform, and it sets us in great stead for evolving Sea of Thieves as we look into the future. OK, enough about GDK. What else is coming in February? The Season 11 team are looking to further increase the value and quantity of treasure found from raid voyages following the post-launch feedback from Season 11. And for Pirate Legends, the team are busy reworking the OG Voyage of Legends and the Ashen Voyage of Legends to be a shorter session experience focused specifically on delivering Athena's fortune treasure. We've got resource fixes incoming for players unable to retrieve supply crates from the merchants, and for players who are not receiving their captaincy supplies purchased from the shipwright. The Ashen Wind Skull no longer loses its value when used, encouraging you all to flame the hell out of everything that you see. Guild Reputation is being added to the Skull of Siren Song, with a small amount delivered when selling an empty chest, and a larger payout when delivering the Skull to Captain Briggsy. The Athena's Fortune Emissary has been juiced, with an Ashen Chest of Legends now being rewarded from a Grade 5 Emissary Voyage when you're in the Devil's Roar. And then finally, there's also some further hit registration improvements behind the scenes, along with client stability improvements and some bug fixing. A quick update on anti-cheat, because I haven't talked about it recently. We're working on it, the integration's going really well, and with GDK heading out in February, this is now going to be following closely behind. And to clear things up, no, it's not as easy as just double-clicking on the installer. I asked the team, and they gave me the look. But soon. And finally, an update on game performance. So Season 11 introduced a sizeable change to the sandbox, bringing more crews together and increasing the frequency of ships changing servers. It was a massive change. We also had some performance bugs sneak in, like the map table, and the team have been hard at work resolving those. We're letting the performance data settle down following this sizeable change. And after GDK's rollout in February, we're going to be assessing whether we're ready to bring ourselves back up to six ships. 
Well, that's the first SOT news of the year in the bag. Catch you all next month. In case you missed it, we recently released the second issue in our three-part comic series, The Sea Dog's Search. In this issue, Lesedi Singh continues to hunt for the spirit of her brother DeMarco, but the seas are dangerous, and masked enemies seek to bring her quest to a premature end. You can get your free copy of Sea Dog Search Issue 2 via Amazon's Kindle Reader. And there are new items making their way to the Pirate Emporium, so get ready to head on in as we're sure you'll find something that your heart desires. There are new Twitch drops on the way. From the 9th to the 12th of February, you can earn equipment items from the Rascal Sea Dog set. Just join any participating Sea of Thieves partner during the event and watch the rewards come rolling in. For more information about Twitch drops, visit the link shown below. And finally, for the love of adventure, the inspiring and uplifting track that leads you into the title screen of Season 11 will join the ever-expanding Sea of Thieves soundtrack when it releases across streaming services on the 9th of February. And that's it for another episode. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, then make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that little ship's bell, and we'll catch you on the next one.